Hello friends, have you ever envisioned a world where the marvels of science fiction brush against the canvas of our reality? Where the regeneration of human body parts isn't just a tale of lizards and starfish, but a chapter from our own book of life? Well, settle in as we explore a frontier that's rewriting the rules of biology. Tissue engineering through the visionary eyes of Michael Levin. As we wade into the waters of this transformative science, imagine the body as a symphony, each cell an instrument, playing its part in harmonious existence. Yet what happens when the melody falters, when the body needs to rebuild? This is the philosophical landscape of regeneration, where the possible and impossible are but shades of belief, and the potential for healing resides not just in nature's blueprint, but in the ingenuity of the human spirit. So what if we could cue our cells to compose anew, to rewrite the passages of life compromised by injury or disease? This isn't a mere flight of fancy. It's a question that pierces the very core of our being, teetering on the balance of what we understand and the endless mysteries that remain. Let's venture deeper into this stirring chorus of cells and signals. Michael Levin's approach isn't just about growing tissues, it's an odyssey into the electric cosmos that exists within us. Levin has found that cells communicate not only through chemicals, but through bioelectricity, a revelation as profound as the discovery of a new language whispered among living things. An understanding of this language could unlock unprecedented healing abilities, advancing our dialogue with life to choruses of growth and renewal. The philosophical roots of our quest to harness regeneration stretch far beyond modern science. The ancient Greeks spun tales of Prometheus, face, who faced daily punishment of regenerating his liver, while in more recent centuries, scholars like Mary Shelley breathed life into Frankenstein's creation, a tapestry of revitalized flesh. Today, we draw wisdom from a diverse choir of voices who, like Levin, ponder the implications of tinkering with life's fabric. As the poet Rainer Maria Rilke amused, perhaps all the dragons in our lives are princesses who are only waiting to see us act just once with beauty and courage. Such words inspire us to face the fears of the unknown. Historically, the quest to heal and restore has been unyielding. Through periods like the Renaissance, where an explosion of anatomical knowledge unfolded, to modern-day breakthroughs in stem cell research, our philosophical pursuit has demonstrated a singular truth. Regeneration is an intrinsic yearning to make whole that which has been lost. Diving into ethical realms, we grapple with quandaries that echo across the ages. If we can direct our own cellular symphony, are we not then stepping into a realm of responsibility, demanding profound respect and caution? This query captures the essence of Levin's narrative, as his work raises moral questions paralleling those faced by Victor Frankenstein himself. What are the limits of our creative reach? Culturally, we mirror the echoes of regeneration in art and lore, in the mythology of the phoenix rising from ashes, in the literary exploration of body and soul in The Picture of Dorian Gray, and through the cinematic lens of The Matrix, where reality itself is reshaped. Unraveling the threads woven by Levin, we recognize how this dance of life and creation has always been part of our heritage. As our journey winds through the corridors of contemporary discussion, we find ourselves at a confluence of opinions. Some herald Levin's work as a dawn of medical miracles. Others caution against the haste of opening Pandora's box. The debate is as vibrant as the bioelectric signals that govern cellular destiny. The relevance of this theme resounds in the urgency of our times. With the aging of populations and the quest for improved quality of life, the implications of Levin's tissue engineering reach into the heart of society. It's not just a question of can we but should we, and how will this shape the legacy of our species? In synthesis, we find that Michael Levin's approach to regenerative medicine is not an isolated note, but part of a grander symphony comprising ethics, history, culture, and the indefatigable human endeavor to mend what is broken, to extend the boundaries of life.
It's a narrative reminding us that within each of us lies the potential for rebirth and transformation. I thank you, dear listeners, for embarking on this exploration with me. As you ponder the profound possibilities that tissue engineering brings, I encourage you to reflect. How will our future narratives unfold with the power to regenerate? And how will we balance the scales of innovation with the weights of wisdom? And so we part ways for now, not with finality, but with minds alight with the embers of curiosity and spirits buoyed by the pursuit of understanding. Continue to question, to wonder, and to seek the truths that lie within the delicate electrodynamic web of life. Goodbye for now, and remember, the conversation always continues.